2023, your reading. This is from July 11th to July 18th, 2020. I hope that you're all doing well. Um, so I'm in my new space, new location. I had a divine intervention that took place, two of them actually, in the month of May. And, um, you know, sometimes you're not looking for divine intervention, but it comes in unexpectedly. And they were both two positive uh, things, but I had to move location where I did my readings. So here I am now in my new location. It's so peaceful here. I just really love it here very much. And um, I'm glad I could share it with you. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Scorpio, I want to thank everybody here that's been praying for my mom. All the positive messages, light and love. Uh, she tells me thank you to tell you to, she wants to thank all of you. She wishes she could be here with me in the videos, but she wants to thank you and tell you, uh, you know, that she's going to continue praying for you three times a day. And whatever it is that you want, need, just ask for it and embrace it because the prayers are coming through. Uh, she does it with a small group, a uh, prayer group in, uh, with the people that use the rosary beads. And it's like mon in the morning, in the afternoon and in the evening. So she, my mom loves praying and uh, prayers are a form of miracles, right? So I want to thank all of you who have been with me from the beginning. And for those of you that came half halfway through, that for those of you that are uh, recent to my channel or new, welcome. I am a psychic medium. I'm active in my community now for 25, going on 26 years. And I channel messages from my higher self and the divine. And I use the cards as a tool to deliver you the messages. Um, and I also want to thank my community as well, because all of you are watching here that are in my community. And, uh, you know, I, when I'm in my community, I, I, I just channel messages. I don't, I have the cards with me in my purse but I don't use the cards to channel. Uh, but uh, if sometimes they want to pull a card, I pull a card, or they want a reading, then they have to take an appointment with me in my new office, as you can see. Uh, so I want to thank everybody here on my community, in my community and on YouTube for, um, uh, for that I could share my gifts with you. Again, thank you so much. And I do have to repeat a few things because there's a lot of new people here and they don't know. So underneath the video, there's a link for crystals under my name, 10% off, okay? And they have a beautiful website, so many beautiful things, and they're adding more and more things every month. And But if there's a specific crystal that you're needing or looking for, uh, just need to write to my Soul Tribe family, and they will take care of you. For those of you that want to join me on Patreon, there's a link there too. For those of you that want to see the weekly schedule, when your video will be up, it's underneath the video. Uh, if you want to follow me on Facebook for inspirational posts, it's Patrizia Luna. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Patrizia underscore 1111, where I do come on randomly to give free readings. And if you're looking for a healer or a dowser or anything in particular, there is my email address that you could contact me in. But you have to give me time to come to you with that because I do have a lot of people writing to me. Uh, now, there's many ways in how you can uh, subscribe and uh, support my channel. I meant, there's a way, there's meant, no, what I meant to say is, sorry, we're having a heat wave here, you know. Um, there's many ways in how to support my channel. It's by, of course, subscribing, liking. Uh, it's I'm also about pressing the notification bell all so that when I do upload a video, you will see the, uh, the notification. By sharing, commenting, and watching the video fully, will help you, will help me, sorry, <laughs> to stay strong on the placement. Okay, Scorpio, so sorry about that. Again, thank you for all the love and support and let's get started with your reading. Hi, Scorpio, this is your reading from July 11th to the 18th, 2020. Um, I have my singing bowl here and the reason why I use this is to clear my energy and space and I will do the same thing for you. Um, I will also send love and light to you, okay? Uh, and, um, also, any other, um, you know, like not just love and light, but uh, prayers, healing, something if you want me to un unblock for you, health, wealth, I'm sending it all to you, okay? While I'm bringing the ball, all you need to do is take a deep breath in and exhale, and exhale afterwards. That's <laughs> so sorry. It's the heat wave for sure. Perfect. Okay, let's start right away with your affirmation of the week. Your affirmation of the week, Scorpio, is balance. 
It says here, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Balance. Our, the angels are saying that you are an earth angel. And it says here, you are a light worker who has come to earth to teach about love. And that is so true, Scorpio. Archangel Raphael is telling you sensitivity. It says here, you're becoming more... Uh, you're becoming more sensitive and need to make change according okay so you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly okay sensitivity archangel uh, the romance angels you have flirt it says you extend your light-hearted energy to others and last but not least i got rejection for some of you here it says it's not you so don't reject yourself rejection is divine intervention Again, it's not you, so don't reject yourself. Rejection is divine intervention. So now let's look into the cards. I'm going to show you where you are at now, okay? What spirit wants you to focus on? Your recent past, what's coming towards you, what spirit wants you to know, and your possible future. Then I will clarify the cards for you. And after that, I will give you your animal totem card, back from popular demand, sacred geometry, your crystal card and what the quantum energy wants you to know. And so let's just gonna shuffle the cards. How are you doing, Scorpio? I hope that you're all doing well. How are you liking this um, Mercury retrograde? <laughs> and uh, how, how did you like the full eclipse, moon, full moon eclipse that we had in Capricorn a few days ago? I hope that was right. I hope that was good for you. So we've got the cards in three, and let's get started. So first I'll, I'll place the cards down, and then I'll tell you all about them. Overall energy for you is the two of wands reversed. Usually two of wands reversed talks about where some, uh, usually an individual could be for business, partnership, friendship. Someone is not seeing the, someone's not coming in or someone is not coming in and seeing the same visions as you anymore. Where this is, again, like I said, it could be for business, it could be for love, but it's uh, usually when it's upright, it shows that someone's coming in, sharing the same vision and making uh, like um, short-term plans with you. Where you are right now, you are the magician, my beautiful Scorpios. And that means that uh, you can manifest anything that you want. You have the power to do so. You have all the elements to manifest your dreams come true. What is crossing you is the Three of Pentacles energy, stability in a business, stability in a relationship, some type of marriage. You are three, okay? There's something about you being three. And um, also, what spirit wants you to know? Uh, not what's sorry. I know I'm making mistakes, but I'm, I know what I'm doing. It's just because the heat wave is like really bad here and I need to put these videos out. But uh, what spirit wants you to focus on is the Ace of Pentacles. There is some type of gift or money that's coming towards you. In the recent past till now, you've got the Three of Wands where you're looking into the future or something that took place in the recent past. You're looking into the future with optimism. Your ships are coming in. Long-term plans, long-term goals. What is above you is the Nine of Wands energy. And the Nine of Wands talks about, you know, these are all your, your past life or your lifetime, what you've been going through, right? These are all, the Wands are representing that. And uh, you're still holding one in your hand, but there's a lot of frustration here, okay? Uh, a sense of giving up. You know, I also feel for some of you, you're blocking something, like you're blocking your process or sabotaging your process. Others of you, I feel like it's just, uh, you know, you're like you're overtired and overburdened by could be work, just the energies, just life itself. But there's something here. What's coming towards you is the three of cups energy. There's some type of celebration for you. It could also be some type of interference as well. 
in the seventh position, you've got the Empress. Uh, new opportunities are lining up for you. Uh, opportunities and abundance here. This is death and rebirth so many times that, uh, you know, it's like having the Midas touch on something. This could be a, a business. This could be a, a business a business proposition for some of you, like um, creating a lot. This could be also a mother figure. What Spirit wants you to know is that you have the Five of Cups, okay? You keep looking at things that are not like something that went wrong in your life, something that took place where there was resentment, hurt, guilt, um, and you're not looking at what's uh, the two cups here at the blessings. And so you need to see the silver lining in a situation, something, some type of silver lining that and knowing that everything happens for a reason, but you are removing yourself from this. In the ninth position, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, okay, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or this could be you. This could this could be about finances, like you teaching others, uh, stability, okay, your gifts coming in, money coming in, celebration here. This is about success, being reliable, being successful. And the last card you got is the Five of Swords energy. So there's a play here of someone backing, like some, this could be like in the in a household for some of you, or in where you're working, where there's a lot of people that are, um, you know, they're stuck. There's a lot of ego here, I feel, and people that could be backstabbing you or not having your highest intention. Uh, and it's also like a verbal or like a verbal or emotional abuse. Also, confront a lot of people that like to confront or some type of bullying that's taking place. So now we're going to clarify. We'll start, start clarifying the cards, okay? The magician. We'll take other cards for this. We got the four cups energy. Oh, beautiful. You got the ten of pentacles. Great. For those of you that are in a long-term relationship or or what I, I what I or it could also be marriage or work. Uh, with the ten of pentacles, it's very good. It's in a relationship, the ten of pentacles or in your marriage, uh, it means stability. There is stability, Tara, because I see like husband, wife, or doesn't have to be that. Look at that. You got four, 44 right away, 33. Okay, these are really like important numbers here. So you did get the magician, right? There's something that the universe is sending you, but you're not interested. You're bored. You're discontented. But there is an offering here. You're not even looking at the three cups here, but there's something that you need to look at because with the Ten of Pentacles, there's some type of money, inheritance, or large sum of money that's coming in. This could be for business or in family. This could be two people coming together, bringing this type of quality in. But the Ten of Pentacles is very good. But uh, with the Four of Pentacles, I feel some of you have a hard time opening up to this, opening your heart to this, even though there's some type of stability there. Okay? So let's look at the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? You got the Six of Pentacles. You got the High Priestess reversed. And the Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Beautiful card, Scorpio, with this Three of Pentacles here, okay, which talks about stability, marriage. It talks about maybe for others of you work, um, you know, you teaching others this a strong sense of self. It's very strong in, 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 in stability because of the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. You got the Six of Pentacles. Whatever you give, you're going to be receiving and things will be in balance. With the High Priestess reversed, I just saw 222. It talks about where there's something that's going to come to light, okay? Some type of secret, but it doesn't have to be negative, the secret. This could be what I see here when I see that in, with all these cards, it's a very positive thing. And with the Ace of Wands, it talks about passion in a business, passion, re, re, like some type of passion in what you're doing, career, uh, work, love, but there's a lot of passion here, okay? And... Uh, you can manifest anything you want. Look, you got also the Ace of Pentacles. So let's look at the Ace of Pentacles. You got the Ace of Swords. Look at that. You have three aces on the ground. This is beautiful, Scorpio. Beautiful energy right now. Nine of Swords and the Strength card. You got, okay, so you got a gift coming in from the universe. Could be money, something that's going to bring you some type of stability. And the Ace of Swords. Something is going to come in where it's going to bring you clarity on a situation. 
uh, clarity on situations that you could not see before. A lot of communication you're going to cut off, fog, a lot of great communication and great ideas taking place. But a lot of you are not sleeping well, okay? You're worried and fear and love cannot exist in the same room. So a lot of worrisome here, okay? Not sleeping, insomnia here. And maybe some of you are dealing with a Leo energy. With uh, This also could be about your um, your health. Maybe you're not, you're worried about your health. Whatever it is, in the month of August, July, at the end of August, end of August, sorry, 2020, you're going to start feeling better. For those of you that have been in, a, um, if it, you had an health issue for a long time or it's a type of injury and it's about having self-belief, uh, being confident in yourself and forging ahead, okay, and taming something within you. So this is very positive. Let's look at the three of wands in the recent past. You got the Emperor, the Two of Swords, the Nine of Cups reversed. So whatever it is of your dreams coming true, some of you already had your dreams come true. Others of you, this is coming in for you. And with the Emperor, maybe you're dealing with an Aries or this is a business or this is a partnership, okay? Whatever it is, a uh, father figure could also be a father figure. But what I feel is that uh, this is commitment and stability. Uh, talks about having everything under control, setting up new rules and boundaries, but you're stagnant about something. There's a path that's laid out for you, and this has been a long time that you've been, it's been weighing on you, and uh, you never really made a decision, okay? You have to remove the veil around, you, have, you really have to remove the veil, okay? And see the reality for what it is, and choose the path that is there for you. Now, let's look at the Nine of Wands energy. Nine of Wands. You got the Knight of Wands reversed. Right now you have 99, 33, and 44. That's very strong in your reading. And 111. You got the King of Pentacles. So you got the King and Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor and the Empress. Okay. Uh, the full reversed. And you got the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. So. You got the nine of wands energy, a lot of frustrations, uh, a lot of time, you know, you've been going through a lot. Some of you are blocking a situation too. It could also be that you're blocking yourself, right? Uh, or you're, uh, there's whoever this nine of wands energy is um, that used to come in and out of your life. It, this person is not coming in. And why? Because the fool is reversed. So there's something that's not coming in anymore. But you are having a second chance. There's a second chance that's taking place here for you. Uh, this is like destiny. Profound changes. Uh, the King of uh, of uh, Pentacles talks about again success, um, strong masculine energy, very diplomat, um, stands in his power, uh, reliable. Okay, this is money. So this is money. Second chances. Everything is taking place. Second chances for you. Now let's look at the Three of Cups. What's coming towards you? What the Spirit wants you to see? What's coming towards you? You got the Knight of Swords energy. So someone's coming in with with a quick message here. The Ten of Swords reversed. And the Eight of Cups reversed. Whatever you walked away from or whoever walked away from you, but I feel that this is you. Whatever you walked away from in the past or recently, you're going to overcome the situation, okay? The Ten of Swords reversed. It didn't happen now. The Ten of Swords was like this in the past, but somehow you were able to heal yourself from it. But whatever it is that, that took place, it shows me that you're going to be overcoming the situation. And uh, there is going to be a quick message that might bring you celebration. Okay, unexpected message coming in. Or it's also an interference as well. So let's take a look again at, um, at the Three of Cups energy with the Knight of Swords. Yeah, so some type of freedom. Um, it's about... It's about um, releasing now some of you could be a capricorn energy doesn't matter it could be a toxic situation that you're in um unhealthy relationships you know like just a sexual relationship it could have been um, some type of addiction but some type of freedom is here if there's some type of freedom you're not bonded to the situation anymore at all okay and what is showing me here very strongly is that there is a completion with this uh, with whatever this thing was for you with the devil reversed okay where it where you had to walk away from a situation. And uh, this is uh, you coming complete circle, complete circle, 
about your past, like your 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 past, but also your life lessons in this lifetime. And uh, so you're taking a pause before going to the next step. And whatever situation that you were in, um, there's no more stability in there with the page of pentacles reversed. Now let's look at the empress. What's the empress about? You got the lover's card and the ten of cups reversed. And the page of wands. My page of wands is my divine timing card. You've been seeing the signs. Uh, you know, this is like some type of beginning of some type of um, some type of beginning of some type of experience that you're going through or passionate experience. It could be with individual, a child. It could be with what you're doing. If it's your purpose, your work, your whatever it is that, you know, uh, makes you happy, whatever that situation is, because it looks more like business for me or so whatever that you're doing for a living and uh, whatever the situation with the Ten of Cups uh, reversed, uh, this type of soulmate relationship or just this type of relationship uh, at, this, at this moment is showing me that it's not there. But remember, you did get the Ten of Pentacles. So a lot of you maybe are going through emotions at this time and there is some type of decision or decision that was already rendered with the lover's card, Gemini, okay, uh, with a lover. So something is not coming into fruition or it's ending. So let's take another card for the lovers. Yeah, you know, uh, some type of information that was withheld. Maybe you're going to get a message about it and it's ending, whatever it is. But the seven of swords reversed, whether it's upright or reversed, it's the same card. Someone's trying to get away with something. Maybe you're trying to get away with something. I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there. It doesn't have to be negative. It's just something that there is a decision and maybe there was already a decision based on it. Now let's look at the five of cups of what spirit wants you to know. You got the page of cups. I feel for some of you, there is some type of emotional, ex a new emotional experience that's taking place for you. The star card. And the hermit. Okay, so some of you are taking time out at this time. You're taking time out to go within, to reflect. Okay, uh, there's a lot of uh, guilt, resentment in this situation. You're only looking at the bad things. You're not looking at the silver lining of something that happened. So you're going to follow your own light and it's time to meditate, to stay away from people. Maybe you're staying away from a Virgo energy here. Whatever it is, there's a new emotional experience taking place for you. And there's a healing and a blessing that's going to come with this, with the Aquarian energy. It could be that you're dealing with an Aquarius, okay? Or it could also mean uh, that um, it's, it's taking place in the age of Aquarius here. Yeah, so where this Virgo energy was, if it was a Virgo, they're not coming in anymore with their cup, okay? There's something like they, they they're with the, I feel that this is the same person that's coming in with their Knight of Wands and that new beginning. You, you have a second chance with some with someone else here. For those of you that are married and maybe there was another person involved or situation because that's how the cards are showing up here, okay? Um, it just right now, like they're not coming in in the way that you want. Maybe you ended it or it just uh, karmically ended. Okay. So let's look at the Queen of Pentacles here in the ninth position. You've got the Ace of Cups energy, the Ten of Wands, and the Chariot. Okay. Whatever, whoever this Queen and King of Pentacles is for you, someone that's very stable in finances, I feel that there's a second chance taking place here. Uh, where there's unconditional love, you're going to be at peace. Uh, this is true love, sacred love, or you're opening up to the unconditional love. Uh, the 10 becomes a one where you are really tired. You need time out, okay? You've been carrying so much on your shoulders. And maybe you're dealing with a cancer, Sagittarius here, where in the month of July, you can take control of the situation and you're going to move forward, okay? You're going to move forward in the direction that you want. It's about, it's about having the willpower and the strength. Uh, you've got the Five of Swords, the Eight of Swords energy here. The last card. You've got Death. Your card came in. So you got the Five of Swords. 
the Eight of Swords, Death, your card, the Moon reversed, and the High Man reversed. Okay, so whatever that's going on here, there's a lot of sword energy, overthinking, overanalyzing, feeling stuck in a situation, but you're not stuck. But the Five of Swords really talks about people that are not there for your eyes, good. Okay, and with the death card, it's a death and rebirth. There's an ending of a relationship or ending of a job or ending of something here. That's very strong. Okay, profound changes are going to take place. It's about cutting all the people in situations that are not for your highest good. Okay, or maybe even p thoughts or p patterns that you're doing. The moon reverse is my Neptune card. There's some type of secret that's coming out. Maybe someone's coming to tell you something and that's it. There will be an ending of something or you're... Uh, I, I feel that because, again, with the High Priestess reversed, the Moon reversed, the Seven of Swords, it's a, there is some, t some type of information that's going to be coming towards you that's going to bring a light to the situation, okay? It's about releasing the fears here and a lot, a lot of unusual dreams. And with the Hangman uh, reversed, it talks about where you made a decision, you dropped something. There's something that got dropped here, okay? Uh, so, th so this is what I'm seeing. So let's look at the Two of Wands reversed. You got the elephant, the eight of wands, the king of cups, energy. So something is not coming in in the way or not having the same vision. Um, the elephant talks about someone, an individual that is um, someone that you talk to. Could also be like um, someone that's like almost like a high priestess. Um, a lot of communication is here. It also talks about you following your own path to your enlightenment. Okay, uh, where you're studying, you're reading about different things. You could also talk about a marriage as well. Uh, you could also talk about where there's a lot of messages coming back and forth, a lot of fast-paced messages here. And with the King of Cups energy, I feel that this could be you, Scorpio, or you're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It doesn't have to be, but there's someone that is here emotionally available, or you're emotionally available, or you will be getting that, in, you will be in that that state, or someone is in that state, Okay. Let's take an extra card for that. The Two of Wands reverse, the High Priestess, uh, the Hierophant, the Eight of Wands, and the King of Cups. One more card for that. The Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, someone's cutting out somebody here. It's That's what it's showing me. It's like somebody's cutting out somebody and somebody else is there or there's another person there. It could also be there's three people there. But one's getting cut off for sure, okay? This is the Queen of Swords, someone not seeing clear, someone that is angry, very angry, and is going to be cutting off communication. And underneath the deck, it shows me with the Six of Swords energy, you're going through a transition in your life. Um, you're removing yourself from a situation or a person. This talks about vacationing. It also talks about um, relocation or moving. But uh, well, what it talks to me about is that a lot of you have, were in a difficult situation in the past and you're going through the transition from a dark place to a light place but you're going away okay so this is what it's showing me so now let's look at your uh, animal spirit card and it's about developing confidence sense of self or spine the string gray card represents a pivotal point in personal growth the moment has come when the stingray must decide between the old, easy, comfortable, and familiar, and the new, challenging, uncomfortable, and unfamiliar. Pressure from family and friends makes the decision even more complicated. No matter what choice is made now, it's inevitable that this dilemma will surface again and again as the force of dharma growing within the stingray is too strong to ignore. And when you're in balance, you're eager. eager. When you're out of balance, you blame others. And to bring into balance, Move through the discomfort. So move through the discomfort. Stingray is with you. Back from popular demand is the sacred geometry. And you got number 10. Beautiful. Unlimited potential. Okay. And your affirmation is, I am able to reach my unlimited potential by releasing old unwanted energies and allowing for new energies to enter my life that will bring, that will benefit me on every level of my being. This card is telling you to assess which part of your life feels stuck and needs clearing. Unlimited potential can help you to see that you need to move away from issues that are making you stagnant. Life is about to change and you need to clear a path to allow for the new energies to come in. The unlimited potential template is here to show us that life 
gives us choices. From a young age, we acquire programs and behaviors through watching others and learning from those closest to us. None, not all of us had, to, had the choice to be raised in an ideal world with ideal rules, logic, and behaviors. For some, through habit, it becomes a struggle to do things differently. Choice is knowing that habits are made to be broken, to see that life is short, and to live in a way we know to be right. It takes time, patience, and a total acceptance that make that mistakes are allowed, as it is through our abilities to fail and make mistakes that we learn. Okay. The practical a practical application of this card is rise above any program limitations. By making conscious choices, we can reweave our DNA pattern to live an existence of health, abundance, and prosperity on all levels. Perception and intention is so important as this helps form our belief system. We can go through life as a, a pessimistic, seeing life as too hard, or we can create optimism, knowing that life has its challenges. But that when we see that, but that's when we see the positives in what we are doing and want to achieve. There is a light at the end of the tunnel and great satisfaction. We are here to consciously create the lives we want to live. We don't always have to the means or choice to reside where we like, but we can make the best of what we have around us from creating harmonious living and work conditions to taking care of our bodies by exercising, meditating, eating right, and avoiding harmful chemicals to creating a beautiful and positive belief system to make us feel energized and truly alive. Remember, thoughts are energy fields. What we put out is what we get back magnified. We are the ma masters of our, of our thoughts and our perceptions. And it, it is a choice we have to create the unlimited potential within our lives. If you believe you can, then you will. If you believe you can't, then you are right and you won't. And the card numerology is a three. And the crystals for this card is um, hermitite and malachite. And the animal med uh, medicine is the condor and wolf. Okay, so this is your card for the week. Let's look at what crystal is here for you. You got the blue lace agate. Find your calm. Just relax. The world is filled with stress and fr frantic activity. It can be hard to find calm in a storm, but when all else fails, just breathe. Stay aware of the signs of rising stress or anxiety that are unique, unique to you so that you can nip them in the bud. When you are feeling overwhelmed, take a break and, and do breathe working. Do whatever your mind and body need in order to restore a sense of calm. Breath, work, and meditation can bring you back to natural state of well-being. There is power in stillness and quiet. Tap into that and don't forget to breathe. And the core question is here is, what are you, what are you most relaxed? How can you discolate feelings of stress or anxiety? And what brings you back to calmness? Crystal action, affirmation. I show up for life calm and present. I show up for life calm and present. <laughs> That's why I'm not present. Present. I'm sorry, but I do speak five, four languages, so <laughs> I get confused with the words. And today, when you feel stress coming on, cleanse your fists up in a ball, inhale deeply, and then release both your breath and your fists. Repeat this three times. So blue lace agate is with you. Also malachite and Herkimer diamond, as long as you need. Let's see what the, um, the quantum energy wants you to know. And it says here, your consciousness, great gratitude. A woman holds baby birds in her hands, listening to the songbirds in the trees behind her. She has a deep appreciation for simple sweetness of the world. Gratitude is a consciousness of great energy and this card indicates that you are capable of moving into this powerful vibration now. In fact, it's a perfect time to focus on this conscious choice as a way of life. You have much to be grateful for, even if you don't already notice it. Your choice to acknowledge that many sources of value in your life acts like a beacon in the universe, one that draws many more things to appreciate to you. This ongoing gratitude also sparks a heightened enthusiasm for life and absolutely irresistible life force. So expect great things from your great gratitude. The universe rewards your genuine appreciation. And your affirmation for this card, if you want to repeat after me, is I notice and appreciate all the wonderful things in my life. My gratitude grows more and more each day. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful scorpions. Thank you for your uh, patience and support because it's really like temperature wise here. It's like mind blowing. Um, 
and it's very humid, uh, more than usual. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. And I'll see you next week. And please take care. Bye.